See, Nefertiti lift is reshaping of jawline. It's basically two elements that we, we improve. One is we relax the muscle in the jawline. That takes away the contour. And we enhance the bone using filler materials. And that gives a very well-defined jawline. And this is minimal invasive, non-surgical, and a quick method. This candidate are, of course, anybody from the age of 20 to 40 years with a good health good fitness, okay, with a little bit of jawline problem, some of them have ill-defined bone as genetic, some of them tend to accumulate some fat in the jawline and it's not easy for them to get rid of that fat, some of them have a little bit of skin laxity as they age, okay, so all of these are good candidates for FTD, usually from 20 to 40, okay, they do best. Beyond 40, there's a lot of different elements like loose skin, lax muscle. So sometimes not all patients above 40 are good candidate for nephrotic. That show immediately, but it takes about five or six time, six days to about a week time to show the best. There are risks involved with this injection because it's an injectable procedure. Risks are you could have bruising, you could have some swelling, sometimes a little bit of lumpiness. These are all temporary. Okay? But in expert hands, you don't see most of these. Uh, any other risk, very rare, like reaction to the injection, infection, they are extremely rare and should not happen. There are other treatments that can improve if there is excess fat pockets and people want to define the upper jaw or the cheekbone along with the lower jaw. You could do enhancement for the cheekbones, you could reduce the fat pockets in the cheek, you could reduce the fat underneath the, the jawline. This can also be done non-surgically by injectables or minimal invasive with the lasers. It takes about 25 to 40 minutes. There are risks involved with this injection because it's an injectable procedure. Risks are you could have bruising, you could have some swelling, sometimes a little bit of lumpiness. These are all temporary. Okay? Mm -hmm. But in expert hands, you don't see most of these. Uh, any other risk, very rare, like reaction to the injection, infection, they're extremely rare and should not happen. Important thing, there are certain do's and don'ts uh, and the most important don'ts for first 24 to 48 hours is not to exercise a lot, just to take it easy and not to use a lot of products on the skin to prevent any you know, reactions uh, but keeping the best way to keep a long term result or have a long term result is to keep fit, mm. alright, so they don't put on weight, they lead a healthy lifestyle and that tends to keep the effect longer. But first is, most important step is to mark the area where we are injecting, okay, and mark the bone line, mark the muscles, all right. Then we apply topical medication to numb the area. It takes about usually 15-20 minutes to numb that area. We clean with antiseptic. All right? The first injection is botulinum injection, series of small injection. About 20 units are injected in the platysma muscle, which lies below the bone line. So it starts from just behind the chin, goes all the way along the jawline, up to the back of the jawline. Mm. Same thing is repeated on the other side, again 20 units of Botox is injected into the muscle. This takes about 5 to 7 minutes. The second step is to use the filler injection. And we use acid fillers, they are natural, they are safe, they do not have any significant side effect to the body. So these are injected as series of droplets and they are injected not at a very deep level they are injected just underneath the skin and the reason why because to allow the skin to remodel and to produce more collagen mm. so it tends to have a more long term effect so a series of injection is a place along the jawline the vertical part this is called the vertical part of the jawline and along the horizontal part of the jawline all along the jawline then the same thing is repeated on the other side then it's important to maintain symmetry mm. to make the patient sit up. We look for symmetries. There's often everybody has some form of asymmetry. Some people have different level eyebrows, some people may have different level of cheekbones, some may have more fullness on one side and the other side. So this is very natural. Mm. It's impossible to be hundred percent symmetrical, but yeah, by proper assessment you could be very symmetrical. Permanent. The fillers often get absorbed from the body within about eight, six to eight months. Okay, but the collagen that it produces stays longer.
it re we do an assessment after six months okay and based on the response then we decide when to do it sometimes it could be eight months sometimes a year well arab women are beautiful and men are handsome as well uh, the, the best thing about the, the mediterranean skin is the combination of strong jawline and beautiful skin and i think that stands apart um, having said that, the lifestyle changes, mm -hmm. you know, excessive smoking, putting on weight, losing, gaining weight, that takes away that natural beauty that they have inside. And the key is your nutrition, mm -hmm. is what you eat and what you spend. Whatever you don't spend gets accumulated. And depending on your body structure, it may accumulate in any part of the body, including your face. So I think the key thing is to have a healthy uh, diet and nutrition and exercise enough. But do take care of skin as well. And this is for men as well. Because men often tend to ignore by not using skin creams. Moisturizing is important. Sun protection is important. Um, some supplements uh, like vitamin C on the skin is important as well. So the, all of these care is very important to have a naturally beautiful jawline.